The boot interface of Android phones has undergone subtle changes, maybe you have never noticed that some brands used to be keen to place their own decorations on the boot interface, for example, Vivo's camera and music, HTC's quietly brilliant, Lenovo's for those who do, etc., too numerous to mention. Today, those outspoken feelings, with the change of brand direction, or the streamlining of appearance language, are gone, only the brand logo and the powered by Android slogan mandatory by Google remain. After getting the Nubia Z50 Ultra, a line of special small characters on the boot interface, like a stone flying into a lake, made my heart rippling. It is easy to shout slogans, but it is difficult to match words with deeds, but Nubia has done a good job. It has been making products in a unique way, not following the trend. This uniqueness is especially full on the Z50 Ultra. A pure large size straight screen without digging holes is attractive enough in itself, on this basis, the Nubia Z50 Ultra also brings ultra-narrow bezels, a square appearance, and the fourth-generation off-screen camera technology. The screen of the Nubia Z50 Ultra can also be regarded as one of the key nodes in the evolution history of phones. The visual shock of this 6.8-inch true full-screen, I believe that photos are more intuitive than words, here I add some information that is difficult to convey in pictures. Using a microscope lens, it can be seen that the pixels are arranged in a diamond-like shape. Combined with official information, this is a screen substrate customized by BOE, and the display effect is good. At the same time, Nubia has also implemented 1440 Hz PWM high-frequency dimming, which is more friendly to people with sensitive eyes. Six years of research and development have created leapfrog results. No matter the angle, the Z50 Ultra's under-screen camera is hard to spot. The brightness is full, and its existence can only be vaguely seen on the pure white interface. Of course, the gift given by fate has already been secretly priced. Although the customized screen materials and camera sensors have taken a lot of effort, the selfie effect is still far behind that of mainstream phones. Maybe straight male users don't care. However, the under-screen camera technology does not affect the face unlocking function, and the unlocking speed and experience are no different from mainstream phones. There are slight shortcomings, the automatic adjustment of screen brightness is a bit conservative, and the adaptive color temperature adjustment is not kept up. It stands to reason that similar minor problems can be solved through OTA. The power button and lens ring continue the classic Nubia Red. A sliding physical button is also added on the side, which can customize functions in the settings, such as turning on and off the camera with one button, or turning on and off the game space, and switching the sound mode. The appearance of phone lens modules is similar to the fashion circle, and each cycle has different fashion trends. Now that circular modules are popular, Nubia Z50 Ultra still adheres to the square appearance, which complements the square frame. The arrangement of the cameras is also very interesting, the L-shape is fresh and coordinated. Through the distinction between the glossy glass and the ad flashing sand process, the back of the Z50 Ultra has the aesthetic feeling of material collision, and the camera module becomes smart and young. The phone has a rear 35mm 64 MP main camera of Sony IMX787, 85mm 64 MP periscope telephoto, and 50 MP 116 degrees ultra-wide angle macro triple camera, and also supports multi-channel spectral sensors, ring flash, custom sliders, screen, appearance, video, the Nubia Z50 Ultra, which does not follow the crowd, is full of stubbornness, on the other hand, in terms of performance experience, it is in line with the mainstream and wants to be a strong hexagon. The hardware triangle combination of the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 chip, UFS 4.0 and LDPPR5X makes its performance unnecessary to worry about. In the n 2 running score, the Nubia Z50 Ultra scored 1.287 million points, which is in the first echelon of performance models. In terms of actual game performance, its performance release strategy is quite aggressive, and there is no fear of setting too low a temperature wall. The image quality options of Uenshin are all set to the highest. In the half-hour game, the average frame rate is 59.9. The only time when the graph was noticeably stuck was when I accidentally pressed the power button. Speaking of charging, the Nubia Z50 Ultra has a 5000 mAh battery. Using 80 watts wired fast charging, it can be charged from 0 to 65% in 20 minutes, and fully charged in 37 minutes. Since it is a full HD plus screen, the daily battery life is very good. After a day of normal use, there is still about 20% of the battery. 
it is worth mentioning that there is also Nubia's system iOS. I have always felt that this is an underrated phone system, smooth, stable, simple. The appearance of icons and widgets is also unconventional. The important thing is that it has very few advertisements, and there are no strange pushes that are hard to detect. There are only 8 built-in applications that cannot be uninstalled, and friends with electronic cleanliness should like it. In some details, it can also be seen that Nubia is people-oriented. For example, when the screen is on, you can turn on and off the flashlight by shaking the phone. Drag the SIM card, and there is also a Chinese prompt, this face is facing the screen printed. These non-mainstream places, I think, are the charm of Nubia. If this attitude of being yourself is easy to be misunderstood as stubbornness at the beginning, then after many years of persistence, it will be respected as persistence. What do you think about the new phone? Write your opinion, thanks for watching and see you soon.